Let's learn a factoring shortcut called slide and divide. We want to factor 3x squared minus x minus 4. And this is a good candidate for this method because we use it when the leading coefficient, the number in front of x squared, is something other than 1. Now this technique is going to allow us to take that leading coefficient and slide it over through multiplication to the constant in the back. So we're going to create a new quadratic that starts with just x squared, then we have the middle term minus x, and then our constant is now minus 12. So we're going to factor this quadratic. We know that each of the factors is going to start with an x, and two numbers that multiply to give us negative 12 and add to give us negative 1 are negative 4 and positive 3. We're not done. We need to do the divide part. Now, each of those numbers we just found, we're going to divide by 3. In the second factor, 3 over 3 reduces to the integer 1, so we have a factor x plus 1. In the first factor, 4 thirds does not reduce. So what we are going to do is take that denominator 3 and actually slide it back in front of the x. So we're going to have 3x minus 4. And that is the factorization for the original quadratic. So we have quantity 3x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 1. And of course, we can always check when we factor by just multiplying 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x, negative 4 times x is negative 4x, so those add to give us negative x, and negative 4 times positive 1 is negative 4. Now let's factor 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. So we're going to go ahead and slide over the 6 through multiplication, and we're going to get the new quadratic x squared plus 5x minus 24. And here we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 24, but add together to give us positive 5. So one of those is going to be a positive 8, and the other is going to be a negative 3. Now let's move on to the divide part. We're going to divide by 6, each of those numbers we just found. And both of them are going to reduce, but neither of them reduce to integers. So we're going to have x plus 4 thirds and x minus 1 half. So what we still need to do is move that bottom number to the front of the x in each of these cases to get my final answer factorization for the original problem. So I'm going to write that back over here. We're going to have 3x plus 4 times the quantity 2x minus 1. And now let's factor 4x squared minus 13x plus 10. We'll go ahead and multiply, slide over that 4 through multiplication. We'll get the quadratic x squared minus 13x plus 40. To factor this, we're going to need two numbers that multiply together to give us positive 40 and add to give us negative 13. So they're both going to have to be negative. We're going to have negative 8, so x minus 8, and then negative 5, x minus 5. And now we're going to do the divide part. So we'll go ahead and divide both of these by 4. And one of them does reduce. So we're going to have the quantity x minus 2 reduces to an integer. But the other one, we'll have to slide the 4 over. So we're going to have 4x minus 5 as another factor. So the final answer to the original quadratic, it's going to factor to quantity 4x minus 5. We traditionally put the one with the higher uh, coefficient in front, so 4x minus 5, and then quantity x minus 2. Although it doesn't really matter because multiplication is commutative, but we'll usually see uh, the higher leading coefficient factor in the front.